Making contact with drug dealers is never going to be easy, particularly in a European city. I've made contact with a local from Felix Piat, an estate in the poorest neighborhood in the whole of France. He's asked me to meet him inside the estate. Very careful around here, mate. Oh, I think we're on a little bit. I tell you what. Yeah, the camera, the camera. I don't like it. My contact is Yusu Musa. Born and bred here, he now runs the local football team. This police station is right next to uh, the estate, yeah? Stone's throw, less than a stone's throw. Um, why has it got the fencing around it? Why does it have the protection? Parce que la police rentrait dans le quartier pour arrêter des jeunes. Les jeunes venaient, euh, libérer mon collègue. Les pierres, ils ont lancé des, des cocktails Molotov. Et du coup, trois ans, ils ont lancé une grenade. Et du coup, hein, ils ont décidé de fermer. Even with Moussa's goodwill, we clearly stand out. And our presence is attracting attention. For obvious reasons, people here are highly suspicious. Oh, could you go up and look at Ramon? Viens écouter en premier, après tu parles. Au lieu de chanter pour rien. Tu es comme Bouba, toi tu parles pour rien. Écoute ce qu'ils vont dire. Voilà. That's okay. That's okay. That's right. Hello. Ah ben regarde. Okay. That's okay, it's okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Plus vite, hein? <laughs> the estate was built in the 1960s to house a growing immigrant population who have subsequently become marginalized from the rest of Marseille. What kind of pressure is placed on the kids here to actually become part of the, uh, of the drug scene? La pression de, de la famille où il euh, n'y a pas d'argent qui rentre, où euh, le loyer n'est pas payé, où il y a des petits frères et des, des petites sœurs qui ne mangent pas. Cette problématique, Elle est, elle est assez grande et assez voyante à Marseille. C'est l'emploi. On s'arrête. Stop. On a la cité de ce côté et juste derrière un des plus gros chantiers d'Europe. And, and how many people are employed from this community working on that building site? Zero. In some ways, then, the powers that be have basically left you to your own devices. Oui, on va dire on peut abandon. What do you think can be done to stop things getting worse? Très simple. Très, très simple. On a plus de violence, plus de trafic de, de, de drogue et pas assez de travail. D'accord, Ross? Give people with jobs. Yes. Alors, pour que nous... Is it that simple, though? C'est comme moi, aujourd'hui, je viens te dire, bonjour, Ross. Mm. Ça va? Oui. <laughs> C'est aussi simple que ça. Ever since we arrived in Marseille, we've been told by everybody, including the police, that we shouldn't go into the estates. It's, it's too dangerous to go into them, and if we should go into them, we're going to be attacked. The, the camera will be taken off as the car could possibly be burnt out. Um, we've managed to find two guys. They won't go on camera, and we're going to have to distort their voices, but they're prepared to take us into one of the estates, and it's called Volver, and we're just about to enter it right now. But a note to me, our guides are taking us to more than one estate. Here we go. You can tell you're coming into these estates. There will be um, the shoof, the lookouts. Uh, we've been told by these guys they're the first people that we'll see. Left, left. There he is, there he is, there he is. The guy sitting in the chair. He's gone, yeah? There we go. Here comes the shouts. But the one up top is screaming and shouting, he's shouting a warning that we've come into the estate. They're the watchers, look, on your right, on your right, on your right, on your right, 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 right. No, no, no. They're whistling. Yeah, yeah, you've got to shift, they're whistling now. Here you go, look, up there, look, and there. There, 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 there. So, uh, their systems are pretty efficient. And if, you know, you live on that estate, you're going to know it better than anybody else. And you're going to know where you can hide the drugs, you're going to know where you can escape to, and where you can run away to. So that's Castellan in front of you. 
Uh, these guys will take us into the, every estate uh, here uh, in Marseille, but they won't take us into Le Castellan. They say it's too full, it's too strong. It's just too strong to go in there. This is as close as they're prepared to get. Um, I have to say, I'm starting in agreement with them. There's no end. They're going actually into it now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're in, we're in it. You're in it, mate. Without warning, my two guides change their mind and decide to drive into Le Castellan, the most dangerous estate in Marseille. Look. He's shouting now. Just up there, yeah. Got it. The guy in the white shirt, he's shouting now. He's looking at us, right, screaming at us, yeah. This could be fun. This is... I'll just get out the back now. Okay. I'll get out of here, yeah? That's a dead end, man. That's a dead end. It's a dead end. Right. There you go. Well, no, no, come on, there's a guy on the bike. The guy on the bank. He's a guy, he's a lookout, he's following us. They're looking at us. The young ears. And these ones, look, there's a bunch of them there. They've all come out to check us out, yeah? Scoping us. And they're like little hornets on bikes coming out to throw stuff at us or check us out. There's another one there, look. So basically, we've just actually, there's one right next to us now, look. He was right. As soon as we came around the back of Le Castellan, all the scooters started coming out. It was a bit like something out of Star Wars. If Castellan is the, the Death Star, all of a sudden, all the little spaceships came out. Uh, intimidatory, of huh? course. Um, but, yeah, it worked, cos uh, we left. On my way back, the drivers decide to take us to our original destination, Von Ver. Of course, we're doing this uh, just after midday. If we came into these estates at night, there's a good chance that we'd get um, barricaded in. What they do is, as soon as somebody comes and they don't like, they barricade both ends of the estate off. Let's see what we got now. Oh, fuck, here you go. Here you go. We just had a massive impact in the front. I think it was brick. Glass. Okay. Frozen water to ice. ice. I'm surprised they didn't go through the window screen. And they clearly don't want us in there. And that's because we got back ended. We couldn't get our way out. That's a block of ice that's just hit that. And uh, apparently the guys are saying they keep them in the fridge, particularly for that purpose. They can lob them out. And they haven't got, if someone comes into the house, they haven't got a pile of bricks standing there. The other thing they do throw, of course, are the, uh, the ball, the, the steel balls. I mean, I don't know what that would have done, but that's done enough damage. And I can assure you, if that had hit the driver, he wouldn't be around right now. Armed robbers frequently target locals. And it's happening in broad daylight. Two years ago, this gang hijacked an armoured vehicle in the centre of the city and got away with around £6 million. Many of these young gangsters come from the tough estates. There are over a hundred of these deprived housing projects in Marseille, and each has at least one gang running a drug operation. Some young drug dealers earn their stripes by committing armed robberies to climb the criminal ladder. Police are so concerned, they run raids twice daily into the estates. So far in these kind of operations, I think you've seized 418 weapons, and 47 of those were AK-47s. Does it not worry you that at some point you're going to go into an estate and have automatic fire laid down on you? Bien sûr, bien sûr que nous sommes concernés puisque nous avons des motards. And it's very, uh, very uh, dangerous. In case of sniper or something. The roof. Yeah. I'm in a convoy of 15 vehicles with 60 officers. There's safety in numbers. In 2011, a police officer was shot three times in the head on a nearby estate. <laughs> then over the radio, we hear that one of the undercover officers has been spotted by the dealers and he could be in danger. They put their foot down. <laughs> Que de 
bicho, pied de bicho. On the second floor, that's where the lookouts were in a chair, and uh, they've disappeared. They're somewhere in this building, but they have no idea where they've gone to, so I think they're going to get the dogs out now. Got a guy. So they've got one of the shoots. Now I'm sure they're going to talk to him or find out where the cutters are, where the people that are actually cutting up the drugs before they get sold to people. His mum's here. C'est comme ça les 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 vendeurs chez comme ça. C'est comme ça. Chauffe comme ça. Chauffe. They search the suspected shoofs, but find no drugs. However, one is taken back to the station for further questioning.